Well, new this morning, a chaotic scene unfolding overnight in El Cajon. I mean, look at this. A truck rams into a local business, and then the truck backs up into yet another business. Yeah, and the incident caught on nearby surveillance. News 8's Chris Crow joins us live from Main Street with what we're learning happened here. And this, the driver of this truck was just ramming into these buildings. It just rammed into one building, reversed back into another. And I was just talking with the owner of this auto service center here where they're doing their work right now, trying to kind of get this boarded up, get this situated right now before they can get a building inspector out here to see the full extent of the damage. But take a look at this because there are a lot of elements to this story. So let's start with the big one here, the surveillance video from a neighboring business that shows that car ramming into this auto care center. And then as a result of that, then reversing back into a uh, cash and carry store uh, just across the street, a cash and carry business, I should say. And so when all of that happens, you would think the driver may stay at the scene. Well, no, he goes ahead and uh, flees from the scene. However, El Cajon Police Department able to catch up with him and arrest him. Now, the good news is in all of this, nobody hurt. But in our conversation with the owner of the auto care center, he told us that around 11 o'clock last night when he got uh, the notification from his alarm service company. I mean, he thought it was simply just a uh, false alarm here. So he had no idea uh, that it would actually end up being like that in this instance. And then there was also a witness to all of this who uh, kind of heard and saw it all happen in real time. Take a listen. I see a hurry bill wreck. I come around the corner, see a guy climbing out of the side of the pickup truck across the street there. And he hit the ground, took off running. And again, they were able to catch up with him and arrest him. Now, we don't know his name, but the owner of the auto care center told us that he, he was told his name by police officers, and he believes it could be one of his former customers, one of his old customers uh, within the past couple of days. So uh, waiting to confirm that with El Cajon Police Department, but uh, pretty... Uh, uh, weird turn of events there, if nothing else. And so, again, we are still waiting to find out a little bit more about the kind of the circumstances behind potentially why both of these uh, kind of incidents happened here at the same time, what led to this driver uh, kind of falling off the road here. And so uh, the damage, not quite sure exactly if they're going to be able to get inside the building, but the owner of the auto care center said the garage still good, so customers can still uh, come here if they need to have uh, their car serviced or they need to pick up one of their vehicles. Eric Canetta.